There it was. I got it. Let's freaking go. I feel like I just gave out away some juice that I shouldn't have given away. Well, hey guys, Tyler Berger here with Bass Fishing HQ. And today I wanna to talk about fishing docks. You know, docks are one of the best places to catch a bass in any lake, pond, river, no matter where you guys are fishing, docks hold fish. And the best thing about that is that docks will hold fish year round. I mean, spring, summer, winter, fall. How they relate to the dock though, always changes up a little bit. So today I wanna to talk about everything when it comes to fishing docks so that you can become a better dock fisherman. So stay tuned, it's gonna be a good one. We're approaching a dock here and we actually have what you call a floating dock up ahead of us. These are the type of docks that actually have floats in the water. Now, a lot of times they will have poles that are adjacent to them that the floats kind of hang on. But as you can see, you have a floating dock up ahead. This is one of my favorite types of docks to fish. The other type of dock that you have in a lot of lakes is what you call a pole dock, right? These are the docks that have either metal or wood pilings on them that hold up typically a wooden frame or a metal frame of a dock. Those can be also great docks, especially when you're fishing deeper water. But a lot of times when it comes to fishing, shallow water I love fishing floating docks and the reason why I like fishing floating docks because those floats are sitting on the surface there's actually a lot of shade under floating docks. The higher up an actual dock platform is, the more sunlight that can actually get in there and the worse a dock can actually be. So that's probably one of the biggest things when it comes to fishing a dock that I look for is a dock that has a lot of shade. Typically the shadiest portion of that dock, whether it's way up underneath of a dock or where a boat meets the dock, the most shade that you have underneath the dock is typically where that bass is going to be. That's an extremely important thing that you always wanna remember. That is the number one place that I try to target anytime I'm fishing docks. For instance, you can kind of see just underneath the back end of that boat where that second float is. To me, that looks like the, the shadiest portion of this dock at the moment. It's, it's morning time, you know, typically docks can be a little bit better when the sun is overhead because it really brings those fish up underneath that dock. But but right now you can kind of see where the shadiest portion of that dock is. And I actually just came through this area a minute ago with a swim bait. I skipped it up underneath that dock. I caught a fish about a pound and a half, two pound fish, but out from underneath this dock came about a four pound fish and it followed that fish all the way out. This is one of the biggest secrets when it comes to, to fishing docks. And I almost don't want to even talk about this. I don't want to give it up, but one way that you can find fish on a dock and especially if you are a tournament angler and you're trying to find fish that are on docks you're trying to find big fish on docks one of the best ways to do this is by actually using a big swim bait so whether that's a soft plastic swim bait or whether that's a gliding style swim bait one thing that you can do is actually cast up past the dock and bring that big swim bait right by the dock. If you have some big bass up underneath that dock, if they don't eat that bait, they will follow it. So you will actually pull fish out from under that dock and they will follow your bait. So then you know, okay, that dock has bass on it. Not only that, typically you can see those fish. You can see the size of that fish. So if you're fishing a tournament, you can actually find fish this way. You know, in practice, throw that big swim bait against every dock and you're going to be able to pull fish out of it and you're literally going to be able to say hey there's a three pounder on this dock there's a four pounder on this dock there's a five pounder on this dock and then when it comes to the tournament you're going to want to pick up your favorite dock lure to actually fish that bait because if they're not committing to that swim bait which oftentimes they don't you want to fish a different bait in there so when it comes to kind of my favorite lures when i'm fishing a dock i really keep this simple. I really, really keep this simple. And I think you should too. The first one is going to be what I just talked about, a swim bait, a big swim bait. Sometimes you're actually catching fish and sometimes you're actually just seeing if that dock is holding fish. My next favorite lure that I'm going to fish a lot is a jig. I like to fish a jig because of its skipping ability. Now, when it comes to skipping a jig, you know, one of the things that you want is a Arky style jig, three eighths ounce to half ounce. The other thing that you want to do is make sure you have a flat that trailer on there. This is a Rage. Guys, I'm going to link all the, the equipment I talk about down in the description. But 
right here, you actually have a, a rage crawl on there. And the thing that I love about a rage crawl is it's actually really wide bait. It's actually really wide this way, horizontally. So it's like a boat in the water. It really allows that bait to skip really well. I'll show you guys right here that it, it, it really makes that bait skip very easily. That's one of the biggest things to helping a, a jig to skip is having the right trailer. The other thing that I like to do, take part of the skirt on the bottom side of a jig and I'm gonna snip off the skirting material. That way, the only thing that's hitting the water is more or less that trailer. Sometimes the skirt can actually put a little bit more drag in the water, which it's then not going to skip quite as well. So I really like to snip off some of that skirting material on the bottom, use an Arky style jig with a wide trailer, and you're gonna be able to skip. The other lure that I absolutely love to fish on a dock is some sort of wacky stick bait. It's, it's the go-to for a lot of guys. It skips unbelievably well. It's so easy to skip a wacky rig Cinco with a spinning rod like I am here. Those are kind of the three main baits. The one other bait that I like to fish a lot of times on a dock too is a frog. A frog has the same ability. You can skip a frog. That wasn't a great skip at all actually a backlash. You can skip a frog pretty well though, especially once you start casting it. It's something different, right? You're showing a topwater presentation to a fish underneath of a dock and they typically are not seeing that. They're typically seeing vertical presentations, right? Like jigs and, and wacky worms. That's kind of the big things that they see. So this is showing them a topwater presentation. Another one would be a chatterbait. Again, skips really well and you can absolutely catch a lot of fish on a chatterbait around dock. All right, guys, I really want to see if that big fish has gotten back up underneath that dock. There's a lot of metal up there. So I think I'm gonna try to use this jig to try to cast up in there first and see if I can't catch that fish. You have to realize how bass are going to position on docks. Some days the bass are gonna be on the outside poles. And if you figure that out, then just fish the outside poles of dock. Sometimes they're gonna be way up under the platform, you know, in the shadiest spot. I see that a lot and that's one of my favorite places. Another time, and I found this out a long time ago, one day, I was catching fish on docks up on Chautauqua Lake. They were all on the platforms. They were all on the outside platforms. I caught them really good. The next day I went out, couldn't catch a bass at all to save my life. I switched over to fishing the walkway. Where the walkway kind of comes from the land out to the dock, that can be a very good place to catch bass that's a little bit more underutilized. Not as many anglers are always spending the time to fish the walkways. So once you figure out where the bass are on any given dock, maybe you go out there and you're fishing docks and you start catching them on the outside you know edge of the dock just focus on the outside portion and the other way around if they're on the walkways don't even worry about the platform just hit the walkway all right guys that is right where that fish was gosh i'm like shaking right now something got it oh goodness gracious he took my leg i don't know if that that was that that big one i, I would have thought a big one would have got the whole thing he took my leg though. Let's put a new bait on real quick. I'm literally, I'm telling you guys, I'm like nervous right now fishing because I know how big that that fish is. And I don't know that he's gonna bite, but I just know he's under there. Not a good skip. I gotta get it way up under there. Golly. Did you see that? Dude, a fish just followed that out. That was not that four pounder. That was about a two pounder. Gosh, he's got it again. I got him that time. Oh gosh. Okay. That is one sickly looking fish right there. Not the fish, not the four pounder, but I just learned something really important because I had cast up in that dock two or three times. And when I was bringing that bait out, that fish actually followed it out and then he hit it. So that's telling me guys, these fish actually might want a horizontal presentation today. Maybe instead of fishing this jig on the bottom, maybe I should start swimming it, or maybe I should pick up a chatter bait. Like I talked about, give them a horizontal presentation because that fish followed that bait out after it had been in there. There it was. I got him. Oh gosh. Oh my gosh. I thought that that was gonna be that four pounder. <laughs> 
Oh my gosh, that fish completely chewed up that line though. Let's let that guy go. My line is frayed up from here all the way down to here. You have to make sure that you retie when you're fishing docks because you never know when you're going to pitch in there and it's going to be that big one, that four pounder, five pounder, six pounder. I finally got the perfect skip way up in there and finally got bit. So I'm going to retie. I feel like there's still a big one in there and we're going to try to get him out. All right, we're retied, we're ready to go. Just nailed it. That might be him, that's him. We got it, we got it. Oh my God, I can't believe that. How many pitches was that? How many casts? We finally got this. Dude, this is exactly what I'm talking about. Don't you do it. Come here. Oh, let's freaking go. Let's freaking go, guys. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. That is exactly what I'm talking about. I'm gonna let this fish go. That is a beautiful, thick fish. Look how thick he is. See you, buddy. That's it, guys. That is exactly what I'm talking about. I, I feel like I just gave out away some juice that I shouldn't have given away. Earlier today, I came around this dock with a swim bait and that fish, that exact same fish followed that bait out. I caught a small bass. I gave it like probably an, a, a 30 minutes, 40 minutes, came back to this dock. I just caught like two or three fish off this dock, but I kept pitching in there. I just believed that there was a bass in there, that big one. We finally got them. I, I am shaking. That's, that's awesome. Like that is bass fishing. That is dock fishing. One of the biggest tips when it comes to dock fishing is repeated casts, just like that. I, I don't, I, ca I probably cast in there 10 times, caught a couple fish, and then finally got that big one to bite. I am so pumped because hopefully this will make a great video. Let's see if there's another one in there. I can't believe that. I mean, I can believe that. I just can't believe I got it on video. Another big tip when it comes to fishing docks, there can be multiple bass on a one single dock. If you get bit, keep pitching in there. You know, the, the, the funny thing was that the first couple of fish I caught in there were smaller ones. You know, typically you think about catching the big one on the first cast, but it took several casts and finally got that big one. So there can be multiples on a dock at even any given point in time. Always keep in mind that bass can be extremely shallow on docks, especially when you get up into the northern part of the country. You know, if you're fishing in New York and Minnesota and a lot of those areas you have really clear water but a lot of times you have vegetation that's around those docks and when you have that vegetation those fish can be I mean in nothing six inches of water no problem so guys always fish docks even if they're shallow because you, you never really know if there's fish on them until you start catching them I believe I have caught the all the fish that are on this dock I'm sure more will get on it throughout the day another really important tip when it comes to fishing docks is not all docks are created equal it's worth the time especially if you're fishing a you know a bigger lake to really spend the time to mark out some docks you think are high percentage docks now docks that are high percentage docks are going to be docks that are kind of relating to main structures on the lake if you have a little ditch or a creek channel where a dock is that can be a high percentage dock Dock. If you have a dock that's on a point, you know, that's another high percentage dock. So make sure you spend the time to actually look on a map, look on an aerial view, try to find docks that are higher percentage docks. But if you have some decent electronics, you know, ones that have side scan, you can actually idle down docks and actually see if there's brush piles underneath the dock. And guys, if you can find docks that have brush piles, that's one of the best docks on the lake. Always pay attention to ladders too. You can see there's a couple of ladders over here. Ladders, or steps like I have here in front of me, that's horizontal cover to the bass. And bass really like horizontal cover. That helps them to be able to hide a little bit better. You know, one thing that I really like to pay attention to when I'm fishing docks, especially when I'm fishing pole docks, sometimes you will find that the bass are relating to the bottom on a dock where they're actually on the bottom. 
And sometimes you'll actually find that the bass are suspended under those docks. So sometimes they're really high up or sometimes you'll find that they're right in the middle. Maybe you're fishing a dock, it's 10 foot on the end and those fish are actually only five foot down. So in that scenario, sometimes you actually might wanna pick up like a jerk bait or, or a chatter bait and fish it on the outside of the dock and catch those fish. Always pay attention to how the bass are relating to a dock. I hope you learned something about docks today. I know that this was extremely fun for me to make to catch that one big fish that we kind of spotted earlier. I can't tell you how important that tip is. I don't even want to give it away, but I already have. It's too late. If you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment below if you have a question. Subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next video. This is for the